Hey friends, Gravy with the Pennywise guys. Here's another solar structure that we built, a cantilever structure that's being used dual purpose. Other than the solar, it's being used as an RV cover. Let me show you all the details. Let's get started. If you look at my other videos, you'll see other structures that are used for RV covers. This one's a cantilevered. Uh, the arms on this are about 12 feet long. Uh, I've got another one that's about seven or seven and a half feet long. So uh, this one has got full coverage for his RV. And then we have a solar screen here for the west side that gives it shade during the uh, west angle there on the sun. And so let me show you the details. This one here has 32 panels. There are 340 watt panels and uh, the system is working beautifully for them. They don't have any, uh, well, all the electrical cost is covered. They have no payment at the true up time, so they're very happy. And actually they have a good excess, so they actually have more power than they're actually using. Okay, we have four posts in this one. Uh, being that it's got that full cantilevered, the last uh, one that you saw, if you saw my other video on a cantilevered structure, the post went down six feet. The holes on this one are um, eight foot deep. And so we have 24 inch by eight foot deep on these here. A lot of concrete, four posts. We have a, the connection up there. I'll get a closer view on that. This one here has got the, um, gutter system down the middle. This is a, called a shared rail system. I'll get up and show you that in more detail here. So with the panels sealed together with a shared rail system, we have end clamps on both ends. In the middle, we have a metal clamp that I make. It's a, um, a tech screw, stainless steel tech screw with a washer and a weave. A weave is something that bites into the panel to, to ground and bond the panel. Okay, but it's called a shared row system because it there is normally you have two rows of panels and there'll be a, uh, a mounting brackets in between the panels. So you have a three quarter inch gaps all the way down the line, and then therefore you have leaks in the rain and stuff. And if I make I make these as patios, gazebos, and you don't want water leaking. So I developed this shared rail system, and basically the two panels share that middle rails and those are called z purlins and the ends over here are called c purlins and i'll get up and show you more detail and so sharing that middle rail it bolts from the top in between the two panels bolt uh butted up together and if you look at other videos you'll see that in more detail this one i may not be able to get up there today because it's really high and i only have my eight foot ladder let me show you the, a little closer view this is the center z purlin where the two panels join up together and there's a row of uh, quarter inch stainless steel tech screws holding those down in the middle. Okay, um, you can see the DC cables uh, routed down and you, we use the C purlin down there and the edge of the Z purlin and the, this one doesn't have any wiring, but that's another close-up view of the C purlin. And with those returns, they're called returns, that half inch, three quarter inch return on the bottom creates a path for any water that does leak through. And we have it routed down to the other end. So it goes down the C purlins, the Z purlin, and the other C purlin, okay? And I'm gonna show you how we do that with the gutters as well on the C, on the Z purlin. Let me get a different position on my ladder and I'll show you those details. Right now, I'm gonna show you the detail of the framework. This is two three quarter inch plates welded very solid to the four, four by 10 beams and four by 10 beams down here. This is, has, has the webbing, extra webbing, and welded all the way around. And then we have engineering bolts, three quarter inch engineering bolts, eight of them total, four each side, torqued down to 350 foot pounds. 
It's a lot of torque on those bolts, but that's what they're for. They're for bridges, they're, they're engineering bolts. They are made to take the high 350 pounds of torque. And uh, that's what we have that's, that's holding us together. That's super strong. It is not going anywhere. You could hang a tank off the end of this thing. Well, not a tank, but you could hang a lot of weight. And it would take it. Would take it. Okay, so the, the, the arms are four by tens and the both all the posts are four by tens. Okay, and let me see. We'll go ahead and get a different angle on this and show you more details. So this has got a central inverter, no micro inverters. I'll show you the central inverter, how we did that. So all the wiring goes down the line for the one row of panels, the second row of panels down to the end there, and we'll show you the details of how we all hook that up to the inverter. Okay, on this side of the uh, Z Perlin, we have what I call edge trim, or you can get uh, two by two trim. This is called edge trim here. Uh, it works just fine, but whatever water happens to drip on this side of the purlin, this side has that natural gutter system there like the C purlins, okay? And then whatever drips here, drip, drips into that trend that goes all the way down the line. And I use that kind of strap set up right there. I drill a, a quarter inch hole in the uh, frame of the uh, panel, make sure you put a block, uh, drilling uh, plate behind it so you don't drill under the panel. And quarter inch bolts, bolt that up there, it holds it fine. I silicone the 10 foot sections together, wherever there's a splice, I put it silicone. Wherever there's a splice on the purlins, like over there on that middle post, post on both middle posts, we have a joint there, and I silicone that up as well on the bottom of the purlin and up the side on both on both sides, okay, and then one down to that post. Uh, the, the two metal posts have that seam. You silicone that seam up, you don't have any dripping there, and you don't have any dripping here, and the end panels have the, it drips down into the, um, the C purlin as well as that one over here, and it all runs down to the end and drips off. So you have no dripping in, in here. The panels are sealed. In between the panels, I use silicone the seal between the panels from one edge all the way down. All of them are sealed so you don't have any dripping there. So what the dripping comes from, any water comes from the shared rail and it seeps past and it drips into the trim or drips into the, the, the that side of the Z-Perlin Z and goes down the line. Okay, let me show you some other details, but uh, this is a really clean system. I put the solar, the solar shade Matted it to the fence down there. Aviation cable stretched across. So I build a frame for the aviation cable and then go down to some brackets with cable stretched at the bottom and then a bunch of zip ties. Hundreds of zip ties. All right, let me show you a little closer detail. Let me zoom in on this. Okay, see that screw? Those are the quarter inch stainless steel tech screws I use to screw through and hold the panels down to the C purlins down there. If you can see the screws poking through, okay, and through the Z purlins poking through. But notice that I used the edge of that screw to hold the other end of the trim piece. You can use two by two trim. I used edge trim here, but two by two trim works really well and then use these brackets to hold it up. All you need is to hold that pressure against those screws and that trim does not fall off. All right, the electrical end of it, I have the two runs coming down to the end. I go down through about an inch and a quarter PVC pipe and I transition it into um, liquid tight and strap it down the post. And this one went right into the wall. And let me show you the inverter on the inside. All right, here's the central inverter. The liquid tight went through the wall right there. And we went into the inverter that I like, Fronius. I use those exclusively for all my central inverters. They're a great company. And uh, we have the built-in DC disconnect right there. And then, of course, we've got the AC side going over here and go through the wall into the back of the panel. Okay, very clean. I like to get them inside so they're out of the weather and protected. 
And then here's a view from the driveway side of the structure with the RV. Fits very nice and see how close the houses are together and this fit in there very nicely. Hope that helps you and maybe gives you ideas what you can do with your place. You have a blessed day. I sure hope you enjoyed this video and it was a help to you. Please like, subscribe, and share. Also hit that notification bell to be notified of weekly videos. I pray that you are blessed, that you know him who is the author of life.